previously on Perp Plays Baldur Gate 3. We've defeated a bandit party that wanted the treasures inside. We also found a treasure we need a shovel for. Fought some more bandits that were complaining that somebody is going to take all the loot. We also found a mind flare that I ended his suffering. And the bossy lady from earlier got captured. Shoot the trap down, we must kill it before it harms someone. He's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Danais! Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. You've got one chance. Join me or die. I don't like the sass you've been giving me, so you die. Coward. Now come, we have a blast to investigate. A blast, carry to be more specific. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I'm in desperate need of healing. Where is this camp? Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And mind the goblin traps. Unless you relish a spit roasting. Don't waste a step. Oh, I curse to put my hands on everything. will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gates, Sevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates!
for the life! Damnable roach. Provoke the blade. And suffer its sting.
Was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Good. Oh. Quite the fortifications for a wandering band of goblins to try and reach. What drove them to it? So, we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. Maybe I need more pockets. Hang on, Ed. You're going to be all right. Time to Stop press ahead. I want to have a word. Stop it. You're scaring him. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Your sword. Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Uh. 
Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Explain the Absolute to me. What? Are you. Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, Trussel. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul like you has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. And when the time comes, the true souls, you will rule. That fellow had a tadpole in his head and they consider him blessed? Chosen? What madness is this? Why are you out here? The wild is dangerous. We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. What happened to your brother exactly? An oil bear. It had him on the ground before we had a chance to react. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edward not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. Those fugitives, tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. I am a survivor of the crash. Looks like you found me. You! Uh, Brenna, kill him! I'll do it my way.
Let's move. No choice but to keep going. within the corpse. It calls to you. as soon as they need to. running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! One fight just ended, and now you're picking another? Relax. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tale. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. More violence wouldn't bring back the ones you lost. Stop and think. You 
You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. I'm more worried about this parasite than a few Time to goblins. Pass. We need to leave to a healer. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Mr. Perp. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Those goblins, have there been many attacks like that? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I'll see what I can do. Really? We're messengers now. We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Leave a like and subscribe. Part 5 is under works. See you guys later.